There is a reason why so many flock to his restaurant, and it could have something to do with the incredibly interesting menu that he serves. So please welcome to the show the man behind the mad Louis, Chef Louis Givellis. Yes, that's pretty good. What Giavellis. is it? It's Giavellis. Oh, Giavellis himself of the Rainbow <laughs> Family Restaurant. Sir, thank you for being here. Oh, thank you very much for having me. I, I love coming down to Daytime Durham, and honestly, my first time uh, cooking with I you. I know, and awesome. I'm a terrible cook. You're uh, used to Christian, who really knows his way around a kitchen. Well, you know what? Uh, it's like, I'll guide you through it. Please. Please do. And my food is intimidating, and uh, but it's... And large. And large. I, it's very large. Yeah, Every, everything in my restaurant is large. Uh, it, well, they, we can, we've been in business since 1958. Yes, sir. Um, which is a huge I, feat these days with is, businesses oh, opening and closing absolutely. with the economy. Yes. One of, the, one of the things that draws the people to my restaurant is the no-nonsense approach. Which is? Decent price, big food, good-sized portions, happy service, and we want you to come back. So we're going to try to make it the best experience possible for you. That's a great mandate. Oh. So what are I we cooking? That. Good, good. <laughs> so this, yeah, what are we making? A Mad Louie. Well, uh, two of the, like, uh, with the big influx of all the um, crazy uh, TV shows now with large food and obscene food. I have my own obscene section on the menu, which is... Is that what it, is that what it says on called, the menu? Uh, it the actually <laughs> says uh, Louie's Obscene Food. I love it. It's on the bottom of the menu. I have about seven <laughs> items on this, and one of the items that I'm going to do for it... Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, one of the items that we're, I'm going to do right now yep. is a Mad Louie. Yeah. Now, what's Mad Louie? What is that? I don't know. Uh, That's what I want to know. M-A-D, morning after dog. It's a breakfast item. You're clever. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm beyond clever. You're, You're clever. Be... It sounds like something a college kid would love. Oh, we get the college kids, but you'd be surprised at how many grandmas want to order this too. No, really? <laughs> so so what is it? What is it? What is it? Can, can I say what it's comprised you, of? Or I think you'd go be better. It. No, no I, you go ahead. I want to see the expression on your face. When okay. <laughs> the morning after dog, a.k.a. the mad Louie. Uh, Twelve inch hot dog wrapped in egg cheese omelet on a peanut butter smeared sub bun with sautéed onions. What? Now tell me, who wouldn't want to eat that? I wouldn't want to eat it. <laughs> but you're gonna, you're gonna prove oh, you me wrong. You're not, gonna, you're not gonna try this? I'm gonna try it. Oh. But it's definitely you're not. Heard it. Yes, you're heard it I here. will try it. But it's definitely not something that uh, I would order. Do you like peanut butter? I love it. I. Do you mean, like hot dogs? Uh, oh, come on, you gotta be Canadian. All right, not really, but All today right. I do. Okay. Do, would you like to smear this dog for me? Yeah. Thank you. I like being put to work. I'm All like. Right. Okay. Smear that up. Don't don't be shy. Just get it in there. Lots of lots of mud. Lots of. But see the peanut butter and the omelet, oh, and no, then see, a hot a dog great. and onion on top okay. of that here's, is just here's a great odd. Way to do it. Um, Thai cooking. They yeah. Use peanut, peanuts in everything. Oh, true. They're peanut and, sauce, so yeah. Why, why can't you why can't you put peanut uh, peanut butter on a burger or on a hot dog? That's smart. Absolutely. Smart. And so these are popular. Oh, both sides. Both. Oh. It's Mad Louie, of course. Thank you. <laughs> um, so do do people get discouraged? How many people actually discouraged. order this? Discouraged? Yeah. Absolutely not. One person really? sees it, then the next person sees it, and the next person after that wants to see it. It, they're just going crazy for it. And I guess when it's being brought to them, too, they get kind of inquisitive and just, what is that? And then they want to try it. <laughs> Probably. No doubt. Okay, wow. we're sizzling over oh, here. Is man. that good? I feel like well, I did a lot. Well, you know what? Just one for good luck. How's that? Oh, good. There we go. Oh, my. There we go. You don't chintz out. You do not chintz uh, out. You know what? It's... The, the ability to make people happy at the restaurant might seem to sound like a cliche, but I really, truly want people to enjoy the food. That's because so that makes nice. my job worthwhile. Okay. Yeah. Now, the next stage of a medley. We got yes. the, the peanut butter smeared dog. Yeah. Now, the next step is... I can smear. We're going to uh, we're gonna make a... Uh, we're going to take the cheese omelet. This is hot, so be careful. Thank you, because I would probably burn myself. At the moment. Now, we take the cheese omelet. Yep. And we're going to take the hot dog. But first, we've got to take the cheese. Okay. And Lots of cheese. Uh, Marble, Don't the marble. There we go. Sorry, <laughs> the I should have told you I throw things around. <laughs> the marble variety. All right, now mm -hmm. we're going to take the that 12 inch a very long. dog and you wrap it in there and you put it in there. Oh, oh come on, that looks tasty. <laughs> That's tasty. You know how many drunk 19-year-olds come into <gasps> my place on Sunday morning to order this 19 thing? 19-year-olds don't drink. <laughs> yes, they do. Oh, that's I the age of majority. Not that's drunk, when... Not drunk, hungover, I should Okay. Say. That's why it's called the morning the after. The morning after dog. dog. Okay. And just to make it really, really tasty. Some sautéed onions. Sautéed onions. All right. There we go. Oh, we got a little burn there. 
it, off there. I tried to scrape it with the wood. That's I don't right. know well, if that was smart. In the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. um, all right. And, so there. and that is done. How do you eat it? Oh, that's not my problem. Oh, that okay. is no, true. Let me, let me instruct you. Okay. You know would you like me to cut it in half? Kind of. All right. You, you're dressed very nicely, and I don't want you to uh, mess yourself up. All I'm right. a little nervous. Are we, are we getting a shot of this? Thank we had, you. We had a... We had a now, bird that I was afraid of, and I wasn't as... There we go. Wow. We that go. is definitely a mad Louie. All right, we're going to make sure that uh, you guys go. know we're coming back, and we're going to be creating something else, which is called the what? Uh, uh, the, the Massive Louie. The Massive Louie. I have no In the meantime, okay, I'll, I don't I'll, know how I'll I'm going to get... To you. How do you get your mouth around that? Oh, jeez, my goodness gracious. Oh. His restaurant has been dubbed the House of Bacon, and the next menu item explains why. So please welcome back to the cooktop chef, Chef Louis Javellis. Thank you very much, Dina. Um, I appreciate it. Of the Rainbow Family Restaurant, House of Bacon. Lo located at 82 Simcoe Street North. Located at 82 Oshawa. Simcoe North in Oshawa. Right near the colleges. And that's Mark, why so many people come flocking to oh, you. Oh, college kids, Durham College, University, Ontario Institute of Technology. UOIT. UOIT. That is such a mouthful. It okay, is. but speaking of mouthfuls, this is why we're known as the House of Bacon. Because this is female back bacon that we specialize oh, no, in. No, 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 they oh, didn't get a shot at that. You gotta, this is do that these again. are normal portion sizes, they're, just so you know. They're huge. They're huge. That's a normal portion size, guys. And I'm not kidding you. Is there a lot of fat on it, though, or is it no, a lot of the bacon, meat? No, female bacon is leaner. Let me show. Oh, no, no, no. That's a great question. Thank you. Know? you. Okay, this I is a slab of female bacon. This is how much fat on Oh, wow. That. Nothing. This is all meat. Wow. That, Let's, well, hold it there. Watch the knife. Okay, well, there we there go. All there meat. we go. That is all meat. That is a lot That's of all bacon. the fat. That's now, the fat is the tasty bacon. part, mind you. I don't want to eat it. Oh, I know, I know. You However, have, it does taste good. You're a very beautiful woman. I don't want you looking, uh, like, getting large or anything like that. But the thing is, you look great. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. It's true. You're my favorite guest. Ever. <laughs> you're nicer than my husband. And you've got really thick bacon. Like, you're just wonderful. All right. Okay. All right, Let's move on. You... Family restaurant here. <laughs> Family restaurant. Uh, who started it? My father. Way back in 58, right? 1958, my father. Your dad. Came from, came from Macedonia mm -hmm. with my grandfather and my two brothers. And his two brothers, excuse me. Yeah, that would have been weird. And, that yeah, would have been very hard weird. to do. Um, and they came uh, to the Whippy area and started the Rainbow Whippy first. First, and then they opened the Rainbow Oshawa a couple years later, and they had both going at the same time. And now my father took over back in the 70s. Uh, then I took over uh, pretty much around uh, the early 90s. And I've been going strong, and I'm trying to promote the place more and more and more. And it's working. It sure is. Right? Now years. this, the Mad Louie and the Massive Louie were not on the list way back when in 58. No, 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 no. So you've developed this, this your is, dad's This, this is a creation based on... Um, the obscenities that are going on on TV with these shows like um, that I can't think of uh, like Anthony Bourdain's Nose of Reservations where they eat. Oh no, that's on purpose. Really, it's I'm smoking. Toast. Oh, I know. Okay. S smoke in a kitchen is good. Oh, it is. Unless it's bad smoke. Okay. Good smoke is good. I don't know the oh, difference. Oh, I'm toasting it. You don't. I don't smoke. have a toaster here, so I'm toasting my big buns. You are so smart, there and you got go. big buns. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'll take that in a good way. Yeah. So, um, so you, yeah, yeah, you, you've taken these ideas from TV shows and yes. you've implement the, implemented yeah, well, them into your own restaurant. Mm -hmm. um, but do you have anything that's tried and true, been there since day one, since oh, Dad absolutely. developed we it? Oh, well, we have the GM Breakfast Special. It's actually called the GM Breakfast Special and after GM. Because back in the day, 1958, yeah. there was no South Plant GM. It was all North Plant. And that's basically one block from the, where the restaurant is right okay. now. Okay. A lot of GM now, workers would come there. Exactly. And we were open 24 hours back then. Oh. So I had my, my, my uncles, my father, my mother, everybody going crazy back and forth 24 hours a day because the GM, there was only two yeah. restaurants back then, and one of them was the Rainbow. And people ate at the Rainbow restaurant. Now, there's... And with dozen. shift work, you need something open. There is dozens and dozens of restaurants in Oshawa now. And for a little place like mine, we have 60 seats, but we're constantly busy. Non and it's all day breakfast, which is all one day of my breakfast. Faves. We're constantly busy. Love all day and, breakfast. And the beauty the part of having the all day breakfast is that people can do shift work and come in and eat anytime. Yeah. And we're unique. You, 
very police unique officers, that way. firefighters. Well, they uh, firefighters please, tend to make their own stuff. No, 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 no. Well, we had uh, quite a few firefighters, really? quite a few police officers in our place. Police officers, for absolutely. Sure. Now these buns, I don't know where you would get a bun cu this big. Cu custom made by uh, all the bread that's baked in the rainbow is made by our baker, and these are made specifically for this wow. item. Now I'm gonna get, I'm gonna put this together a little bit. We need bit. to. We need okay. to. Now we're just getting massive to Louis is basically what the name sounds like. This a is a big. 16 plus ounce. All ground beef burger. We're going to show them right. what it is. There we go. We want to make sure everybody sees how and huge now, and there enormous is no, there is no this filler is. in this. There's no filler. There's no really? egg. There's no breadcrumbs. This is 100% ground beef. Wow. And you put that on there. Now, I you thought you had to put egg in. Uh, it, see, I don't know. No, you can. And honestly, most people do. I thought it was but, the binder of it. Uh, no, if you if you pack it tight enough and you, we use a flat top grill, which, see, which sears everything in, which also kind of binds it as well. Now, oh. I wouldn't recommend this uh, doing it on a barbecue that has the slats or a grill. Oh, because it'll just fall right through. Exactly. Gotcha. Okay. All right, wait now. a minute. We've just been chatting too much. Oh, I'm sorry. Minute? Okay, what I massively. Do. Burger, cheese, tomato meat sauce that I make myself, like a bolognese sauce. Yeah. And we use tons of that. And you got to put that on there. I'm like trying to find a fork so I can try <laughs> your, your little meat sauce. Oh, please do. Go for it. Look at me. Just All right. dig right in. And this wouldn't be a uh, proper burger without our bacon. And it's like a chili. It's, well, it's better than a chili. Well, those dogs were really good, so I'm excited to try this guy. Okay, now and we have we the massive loot. Oh, I'm sorry. How many see. pieces? Three? Three. Holy cannoli. And then the smoking bun on the top. The smoking bun. But that you know, is a massive Louis, folks. Massive Louis. A massive Where Louis. you got to hold it there. Hold it there so everybody can see. 82 it's Simcoe bigger Street, than North my head. Oshawa. Facebook.com slash Rainbow Restaurant Oshawa. Stay with us. <laughs> More gay time to come. Oh, i got to cut that in half. That is Welcome back to daytime and to the tail end of our show. Thank you to everybody who made it in studio today and made today's show massively fun. Truly today, it really was a fun show. As for Friday's show, no doubt another episode to rave about. We have the pleasure of catching up with our daytime film critic, Eric Marchin, the man who always has something to say about the week's blockbusters. We also have the United Way making their way on set to wrap up this fantastic volunteer appreciation week. We have the talents of Maureen Brown and the exquisite Caribbean cooking she is so known for. And finally, we are having a tea party with the Canadian Cancer Society, but you got to wait until tomorrow at 11, 4 or midnight for that fancy show. Today, we are wrapping up daytime with a little love, a little thanks, and a little bit of Mad Louie to send you on your way. Until tomorrow, Durham. I'm going to just get dig in. Just bring it over and just like...